right, so I'm back with another project. I just want to show you um, some different ways to wrap some of your cards and stuff. I know I give a lot of my cards away and I give a lot as different kinds of presents and for different occasions. So that's why I just want to show you how I wrap some of my cards. So I do it many different ways. Usually I have more than one. So today it's only one, so it's a little bit different, but so I'm going to try a new technique. I'm just going to try, I never did this before, so it's going to be my first time with you. But I usually, what I do is I get a few cards and I usually put it in um, a brown paper bag and then I go ahead and wrap it the way I'm going to show you. But today, since it's only one card, I'm just going to wrap it in some tissue paper here. So this is just some white tissue paper here. I cut it. I believe it's around, I couldn't measure it so I'm just guessing because I didn't have the original packaging. So I believe it's maybe around 30 by 20 or something like, like that. And I went ahead and cut it into four pieces. So I'm going to use one piece of tissue paper and be able to wrap four different cards. So I'm going today and I'm putting it in the middle of the tissue paper here. And I'm actually going to do this on the back. So I'm going to go ahead, center it in the middle of my tissue paper, wrap it. It really doesn't have to be perfect because of the reason that this, everything's not perfect. So I'm just, and you can see this is my jagged edge that I use my scissors. So I'm going to put that on the inside so it doesn't show as much. I'm going to go ahead and crease the tissue paper here and then just wrap it over. And then I'm just going to go ahead and use a little bit of tape to close it. So I'm just going to put a little tape here. And on the top here. And this is, this is, you could actually stop it at here if you wanted to. And just have a simple card. And I really like this look. It almost looks like a vellum. And you can see your card through. So it's really nice to do this. I never even tried it before, so I wasn't ex didn't know what to expect, but this is a really nice way to do it. I It's exactly what I imagined, and you can see this isn't the nicest back, but it's perfectly fine. You really can leave it like this if you're going to put it in something else. Now, to add to this, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it. I usually use this either kind of twine or this um, this is a jute. You can use hemp if you want to, but I like the more natural look of the jute because it's really natural looking. So that's the good thing. And you can see jute is a little bit thicker than hemp, so that's a little bit uh, it's a little bit different kind of material. Now, what I always do is I have extra here. You want to go past it quite a bit, however much you want to, meaning on this side, leave a few inches past. Then I'm going to go ahead and put this, wrap it two times. You can make it kind of tight, make sure you don't rip the tissue paper though. And then I like to take this one and this one, cross it, like that. Then you want to go and use the long one again, because one's going to be your tail and one's going to be your long. Wrap it again twice come over here now this is where it sometimes will change so right here at the end you can see that I have this one right here wait a second let me just get my end everything's kinda coming apart but it's okay you can go ahead pull it tight make sure you have all of this here Okay, just like that. So the, here's my two ends here. Now you can see that this one's underneath here. Because that's how it needs to be. There. Just going to pull it a little bit tighter. But I'm going to cut this end. Here. There, I can get that out of my way. So now I have these two ends. Which, if you see here, it's not going to connect well. So what I like to do is I put this under here, just like that, and I actually like to put this one under here. And what this is going to do is it's going to make it tie better. So here, when I tie it, it's actually going to have to go directly to the center, because it's making a knot right at that center mark. 
and that's pretty much the best and easiest way to do this technique so I'm just gonna do it like that it's not gonna be perfect every time it's just make a knot there and then what you can do kind of make it a little bit nicer looking I try not to make these edges like this but sometimes you just don't count the different types of length and just like that then I'm gonna go ahead and this is you can use embroidery floss if you want but this is some type of um, shiny thread I'm not exactly sure what it's made of <clears throat> but you can get this so just kind of think about how big you want the loop make it like that and I'm just making these loops on both sides now Nicole McGuark did something very similar the May Arts you can buy silver and gold thread I believe and I believe it's very similar material to this so I got this at a bead store and for jewelry but this is a really nice it's a really nice and shiny type of thread so I'm just looping it there so right now there's nothing that's really holding it in that together so I'm just gonna take this tie a little knot with that with the uh, jute and there's my little package you can see this is really nice you can rearrange it because it'll still move throughout the thing throughout the knot so just make sure you don't pull anything and then this it can be your finished package so now with this I like to have tails about this long because of the reason that if I want to add a tag or any different kind of decorative thing to the center I always have this to be able to adjust so sometimes you want to just cut it off you can cut it off shorter and that can be it or if you want to add a tag you can go ahead and do that and then also I like to do is you can actually spread it out after it's tied and you make sure that everything is already is stuck down there you can go ahead and spread out this jute you just want to make sure the right strand that you have is on the right side and then just pull it out like that and this will make it look a little bit more decorative than the regular straight but you can see they're gonna make they're gonna think that you took more work to make it look like this when really it didn't take any more time than what it was before you just had to spread it out a little bit and you don't want to spread out too much because of the reason that it might start bending your project and then that's it and then again if you want to add a tag or not so this is the finished kind of project you can see the back here it's not so pretty but it's mostly the front so thanks for watching if you want to see any of my other cards or card projects please visit my blog at microscrafts.blogspot.com and have a great day bye